Acapulco, a town reeling in the wake of a Category 5 hurricane, the strongest to hit it in modern history, its wind speed reaching 266 kilometers an hour. For Emma Abarca, a resident of the poorest area of the city, the hurricane has been the most traumatic event of her 27 years. El agua nos llegó al pecho. The flooding came up to my chest and my house was washed away, taking everything with it. My mother and sister the same. We can't provide food for our babies. We've been very badly affected. Survivors are taking desperate measures. Home to more than a million people, Acapulco now faces a humanitarian crisis as Hurricane Otis has left many without food, water or roofs over their heads. Survivors are taking desperate measures. It has been very hard for everyone. Many have turned to looting just to get some food. We came here to find water, but there isn't any. All the shops have been destroyed. Many others are leaving. Betty Gonzalez and her family's home was destroyed. And as Acapulco becomes more dangerous, they will now hope to rely on the kindness of friends in other parts of Mexico for shelter. There's nothing here. We've lost everything. Buildings are destroyed, trees falling on cars, businesses have been raided. In a word, our town has been crushed. We are healthy, we are alive, but Acapulco has been destroyed. However, the authorities are here in force. Crews from the Mexican military, Red Cross and fire brigades are assisting. Audel Serrano is helping to coordinate recovery efforts. We'll be here for as long as is necessary. The president has instructed us to remain here until the situation on the Pacific coast here is resolved. While Acapulco faces a long road to recovery from Hurricane Otis, the governor of this region reassured city residents that Acapulco will rise and be stronger than ever. Alastair Bavstock, CGTN, Acapulco, Mexico.